Well, hello, well, hello, everybody, and shut up. <laughs> You're too late. <laughs> <laughs> this is going well. We're actually in Nurburgring this time, guys. Yay! Yes, we are. This is Conlanders League. Uh, last week of Season 1, we are at Nurburgring GP Sprint Circuit, probably. <laughs> My name is Ilya, this one's Matt. Professionals! We're not. No. <laughs> And here we go to the actual grid of this feature race, which will be 15 laps long, which is clearly indicated on this screen. <laughs> Shut up, Sharky, what is price out from Paul, followed by Cone Dodger. Savadis makes a P3, Maestro behind him in fourth. I am fifth, what the surprisingly, hell? followed by GT3 Cooper. Spooky Squid in seventh, Gem Knight in eighth. Followed by Kim, Micah, Makeup, one of those in ninth, and Rebel Cowboy wow. run out of top 10. Good job from Cowboy there. Uh, Neon Tiger in 2 5 or 25 or whatever. Sebi, 13th, followed by D Jump. Mach 1 Fireman makes up 15th, and G Man 197002 in 16th. Followed by Rotrex 2 and Martin 224. <laughs> Incarcerant in 19th place with Liz Woods in 20th. And uh, <clears throat> surprisingly, last one is Shadow Wolf on his 21st spot on the grid. We had a dislike on our last video, and I'm pretty sure I know who put it there. But that's your grid for this Nurburg feature race. It should be a little bit exciting. I hope. It's... <laughs> Otherwise, I'm, I'm going to be bored. I hope as well. This is the last week of the season, and lots of places are stake as the lights go on and they are about to switch to green and we are going in Nürburgring. Sharke has a comfortable lead so far for the f from the first meters. He doesn't like starting in these cars but so far so good probably as everybody makes it <laughs> through band one I assume. So we go to no camera turn work. one. Oh god this, this looks like it's gonna get a little bit dicey. First half yep. goes through, someone goes one, yep. someone goes the other yep. way around. Yep. Someone is spinning. <laughs> I was and oh. somebody goes even further. <laughs> God. Uh, and uh, in the mayhem, Cone Dodger is taking the lead from Sarvatis. Um, Shark Hip. Sarvatis, rather, is down in fourth. It would have been nice if he took the lead. Ooh, some good evasion there from someone, I don't know who. And let's see. Yeah. Well, falling down the field is Georgian, thank God. <laughs> That's not fair. Uh, I noticed so, how you selected you for this timing thing, because we can see the distance to and from your car. It's the only way I can make it work, it's live recording, because in replay it doesn't work. Who knows? Yay, anyway, professionals. Ro Rotrix 2 and then cars run the side by side going into one of the turns. This is the GD, uh, GP sprint circuit, so it cut half of the actual circuit of us. Rebel Cowboy has to evade Rotrix 2. He is a little bit wobbly behind Incarcerate, looking for a gap that is not there, really. Yeah, and, well, to be fair, it cuts off part of the track that's really only good in an F1 car or something of the same yeah. power. Any um, downforce these cars car. Would just, yeah, th these cars oh. would just be two straights in a boring corner, a little bit of a slide there from whoever the hell we're looking at right now. It's Rotorex, and somebody Oops. is off the track. I think it was Sebi back there. Yeah, I noticed the dust cloud going off the track. <laughs> it was actually a car there. It's like, hey, dust, dust, dust. Well, with the so, amount of dust that that thing kicked up, you would have sworn it was one of those GP3 or feeder series crashes we've been seeing lately. Where it's like, hey, I'm just going to disintegrate my car. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are in lap two now, and not too many casualties so far. There was that uh, huge wreck in turn one, <coughs> but other than that, I haven't seen much of a carnage, at least in midfield, which were looking at now as Rebel Cowboy and Kim are behind Rotrex fighting for position here in turn one, still side by side going in turn two. Rebel should have the inside, but no, he concedes that. I oh, think no. Rebel was a little bit too far back. I uh, know, he's originally. trying to push his way through again. <laughs> originally he was too far back and decided not to try to push oh, the end. Oh, that was always going to end bad. one way. Yep. Too late on the brakes, try to jump for the inside as he gets tagged by Neon Tiger. Tries to rejoin a little bit too much of a spin and oh, he collects oh, Martin and Sebi on his way. That was a bad rejoin. Should have waited for the rest. Now he will wait for the rest because he's putting right at the barrier. 
I don't think it was about waiting for the rest or not. It was just his flick spin turned into a full spin. If he had flick spun it and then just stayed to the right, he would have been okay. But yeah, if you have a little bit too greedy on the throttle. Yeah, if you stayed off the track, it would have been clean. As we are spectating 2-5, who is trying to go around Shadow oh. Wolf, I believe. Yes, that's Shadow Wolf. A little bit extending the track, but but a safe than sorry at this point. Yeah. He's, he's still side by side now. He clears Shadow Wolf now, and I think Neon Tiger is trying to do the same trick. No, he gets cut off as Shadow Wolf, I think, is going to try to regain that spot into this chicane. This, this is, is not going to go well. This is a faster chicane. This is not the typical GP chicane. Mm -hmm. So this oh, is not it, really an overtaking spot. Yeah, no, it, it, it's a... Uh, I think it's a better setup than the one we have. I mean, all respect to Schumacher and everything, but I, I like the faster chicane better. It would actually make a pretty interesting... Uh, a pretty interesting part to a Grand Prix circuit. It's Neon Tiger. I don't know what he was doing there. It was a little bit of a slide. He caught it with the help of a catch fence right there. Mm. Usually that'll help you cut, yeah, cut your slide. That'll help you cut your slide. Um, <laughs> but on the point of, of less mayhem and carnage for the most part, it's the widest track I think we've been at so far. Uh, so there's more room to duck and dodge and weave. Uh, Shadow Wolf getting a little bit feisty, but eh, fair play there. Well, Nothing I wrong with that. Defends his position well. And has Shadow the Wolf inside line for the next slow. corner. Uh, a little bit slow, uh, but he defends this position. I'm trying to be nice here, sweetie. Don't mention things like that, because I will go off on another rant. Well, he's done nothing bad so far. No, so far. You say that as though you know what's going to happen. <laughs> as we get a replay here of, I think, this, I'm pretty sure it's the start. Um, interesting camera angle. Kind of cool. We can see everything that's happening. Rebel Cowboy in a central position Except there. Sebi goes through, Ooh. he missed his breaking point. Gemini, Ooh. Ooh. yeah, so Ooh. basically that's what happened. Sebi missed his okay. breaking point, went through. Gemini slowed down to let him through, and that kind of triggered everything. Yeah. Gemini played it smart. The guy was overcooked. He could have turned in and caused a bigger accident, but he tried to let the car go by and then continue on, but there was just nothing he could do there. Nobody's fault, really. Just a he... bit of an overshoot. DJ there, not helping himself by going off the track, but... I mean, Kim Micah didn't do anything wrong, neither did DJ, really, just... Yeah, quite a few people just caught, they, they got nowhere to go, the track was basically blocked at this point. Yeah, a cluster all around. Oh. As, uh, what is this, Les Scoob's Les trying Les to overtake Neon Tiger, That's yeah. That's turned to a little bit too optimistic, and Martin <laughs> is get, getting scared, really, and spinning yeah, all Martin by himself is, behind him. <laughs> sympathy spin, and then we're going to see why Sebi was off in the grass, a little bit too far, I tagged a uh, G-Man, I think that was, and then... Took it for a yeah, ride. All by himself. He, mm. yeah, didn't have enough space to stay side by side. A little mm. bit of a side by... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I bet 2-5 Neon Tiger got scared there. They're going to need some new underpants. Uh, Cone Dodger, who is slash was in the lead. Oh, it's going to be was. He out outbreaks himself. Uh, and Sharky just, well, you don't really need to invite him twice. Cone Dodger will have the inside line for the left turn, though. He'll have is the he outside for the next one. That's a complex left to right. He stays side by side, Shark Ape goes as wide as possible, and he will have the inside line here unless there's a crossover, but no, 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 Shark is too slow, Cone doesn't have space. Cone look like he's, yeah, Cone looked like he slowed down a little too much for the left-hander. I thought what he was going to try to do was slide behind him and crisscross, but uh, he kind of half committed either way, and it, it cost him a little bit in the end, but the position, could he have gotten it back? I'm not sure. As uh, Master Ponchik, who's actually been a bit quiet this race, shock horror um has now caught up to the back of uh, the dueling top two so we're about to have a three-way i'm rather excited i think they wanted to stay a little bit calm on the first laps as we see cone looking looking into this gap <laughs> in the chicane i'm not sure there is an overtaking line there but we'll say oh gt cooper behind them is slightly i could see an overtaking line there but uh one that will work 90 percent of the well one that'll work two percent of the time no it'll work one percent of the time um that wouldn't stop me from oops there's an cost run to barely avoiding the vault the wall there which allows uh that is what the hell is that uh, yes i think that's uh 15 yeah that's servatis i think yeah no on the end time. See, okay. that's the season one livery. They look the same. Season two will be better, I promise. They should just, <laughs> just like stick their names on the side or something. Or oh, you'll I don't see. Know. Oh, you'll see. It's gonna be better. Uh, I'm sure it will be. 
Anyway, we see Cone Dodger, who is actually quite far away from Sharky now and is being pressured by Maestro. There is a, quite a bit of distance What's the tire wear like on this track? Because I'm thinking about something. Uh, tire wear, it's GT86, so I don't think street tires are too dead by the end of a race, but there might be some questions about the tire stop. Well, because my thought was maybe he was backing. Well, okay, well that oh. that's not backing off. That's that's oopsie. But my thought was he might be backing off a little bit to try to save the tires for the end, or try to be able to push harder during the um, stops. Uh, I'm not sure if it was that strategic or if he just screwed up. Uh, it's looking more and more like he just screwed up a little bit trying to get a rhythm back. But now he's being pressured from Mastro, Savatis behind him, GT3 Cooper behind him. There's not really Mastro's a place. He's looking outside, inside, tries not enough space. Slows Lucas behind. A little window. As we see another replay from 2 5 who's alongside Rotorex 2 for this hairpin. Uh, yeah, 25 there. getting a decent run on him. Should have this. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy for breezy. Oh god. And this is uh, an attempt at an overtake in the same spot by Les Cubes on Shadow Wolf. Uh, calm a little bit cutting inside from both of them. Mm -hmm. But it looks clean. Oh, a Ooh. little bit of a wobble in the exit, but nothing major. And a complete pass. That was for 18th, last uh, point space. Mm. So the battle resumes up at the front. Looks like uh, Nash is definitely the faster of these two. Desperately looking for a way by, but... Uh, Cohen knows how to defend himself. He might be a little bit triggered by my Twitter, but he certainly knows how to defend himself in a car. Love you, Cohen. I'm Judging by it. his pace, he's sort defending of. his position because Servatis is already behind Maestro and GT Cooper is not too far behind. Maybe it's his plan all along because he can't keep up with Sharke. He might as well slow Maestro down, so he has to defend his position. Yeah, we'll have to see. Incarcerant uh, getting a little bit wiggly there, trying to find a way by. You're really not going to find a way by here unless you're lucky or really, really just beaming up the inside. Oh, your balls are slowing down your cars a lot. Hmm. Hang on. Uh, I need to weigh. <laughs> no, your car is very light. Anyway, uh, we're well, looking at. If we're talking about the balls, yes. If we're talking about the rest of the driver, no. <laughs> Co compensating, you know? Speaking of drivers that weigh down their cars. <laughs> that is true. As I rejoin <laughs> after my pit stop, that's slap six. That's probably as early as you can get. Slotting down behind Rotrex too, as oh, Oops. that's a little bit of avoidance, and somebody's put their own way again. The Carson is very wide there. Uh, number 12 Neon Tiger has to uh, go wide to avoid again, as Rotrex 2 finds another car behind him ready to attack. Yeah, you were having a rather uneventful race coming in for your pit stop, getting some fuel, whatever. And then you come out, and then, oh, shit, I'm around all these people. Oh, Shadow Wolf As clipped the grass on breaking. Mm -hmm. uh, all by himself, clipped the grass on breaking, spun, didn't touch anything, so it was rather lucky for him. Lost a couple of spaces, now he is uh, dead last. <laughs> yep. Um, so, this should be interesting to see. Uh, do you have your lights on? Yes. Okay. I was, I was like, uh, brake lights? What? Um... I just noticed that your number uh, corresponds very interestingly to one of the rules of the internet. <laughs> Thanks for so, your <laughs> mate. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> I can think of all kinds of things I want to stick on your car livery. We were talking about numbers and what they uh, look like a lot with uh, some of the people in the league, especially number 88, which was called Double Balls. On that note, let's continue. <laughs> commentary as we look at uh, G-Man who is getting an interesting way through the corner pressured by Mac on Fireman. I totally now want to have number 69. Uh, anyway, <laughs> somebody's running out of fuel very quickly. Uh, whatever that screen was that popped up there. <laughs> Professional. Side by side in chicane. Uh, Neon Tiger gets smart here and avoids a side by side in this chicane. It's very much like some of the V8 supercar chicanes. You cannot do it side by side. One of you has to back off. Um, I think, oh god, there used to, uh, I think Sandown's like that. They have a, a, a quick chicane where you, I mean, somebody's going to have to back off because you can't get through the two by two. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Unless you're really committed to the turn and scare the other guy off your path. 
Uh, Neon yeah. Tiger tries to make a move, uh, goes a little bit wide, not enough space between uh, first and second turn as we switch to GT Cooper. That is applying pressure to Spooky Squid, that would be for fifth place. That's pretty high up the field. They uh, lost a little bit of space on Servatis, and Servatis is uh, 50 meters behind Master, so that's quite a gap there. Master is still hanging with Cone, as mm -hmm. we can see there. And Sharky looks like he's miles ahead of everyone again. Spock one gets a little bit out of shape there. Everything seems to have calmed down a bit. A bit. Everything has calmed down. Shadow Wolf is getting lapped, so he gets out of the way and out of the track to let less cubes and Macron Fireman by as we approach halfway mark of a race. Actually, eight laps would be over halfway of the race. It just so we're ticked not over. It. Shut up. We're going away from it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, ooh. I thought that Mr. Green up there was going into the wall, but eh, more car control than me. Not hard. As we switch to Master Ponchik with Master the most Ponchik. bullshit back sponsor ever. The back sticker ever. Oh well, that back sticker, he signed up as a rookie. I know. It's bullshit. As in Carson's about to, yep. Uh, and Carson ate it from too far. Oh, that's actually the crash that we saw a few minutes ago. So it was triggered by 2 5, just ramming Carson off the way and slowing down everybody else. It's that yeah, little two, bit 25 calamity. was going about 25 miles an hour too fast into that corner. And, well, gifted you a good handful of positions. It has to be said. True, but still. Less overtaking for you to do. Yeah. These guys uh, haven't pitted yet, so it's they still had to go at some point. And uh, I see I'm still behind Rotrex too, who hasn't pitted yet, so it's slowing me down a little bit. Yep, slightly, but you'll be lighter on fuel. Well, no, you won't be. I don't know what I was just thinking there. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> nice I like how he has the learner sticker on the back of his car. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, funnily enough, we don't have that here in the States. We have a learner's permit that you carry, but your car doesn't have to have any sort of... Which is plate. weird, because it's not you that should know that you're learning. It's everybody around yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. It's like, great, you know that you're learning. You know your limitations. Fabulous. Everyone else kind of needs to know that, so, well, you know. Throw of an avoid. <laughs> so, but then again, comparing our learner's permit drivers to some of Russia's full license drivers, I think we're okay there. As you're about to overtake Rotor X2... Inside... Side by side in this turn. Side by side! Rotor X goes wide as well. But he's gonna have the inside for this turn. He should be able to keep the place unless he goes too wide, which he doesn't. He's still very close, maybe a little bit of bomb drafting here. Are you gonna overtake in the chicane? I don't remember, that happened way too long ago. As we... No, we don't go side by side. Rotorx 2 has uh, way too much speed to approach, and that's... No, no drama here, really. A little bit of cut in there. Yeah. Seems to be par for the course. As uh, we see GT1 Cooper in the... Ooh, uh... We see GT Cooper spinning himself in the bits. That's... When was the last time that happened in F1? Uh, it was in Marussia, wasn't it? In, in the rain? Marussia in the rain, yes. It was Chilton, wasn't it? I don't remember which one of them. Well, Chilton's useless, so we might as well go with him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as we continue, lap... One of two F1 drivers who've blocked me on Twitter. Oh, is the other passer? Yes. What a surprise. <laughs> the one as that got him, the one that triggered him was I called him Crash Door. Mm, not new. Anyway, we no. come back to GT Cooper trying to regain position Ooh. by cutting turn one like a <laughs> madman. Going a bit. <laughs> that that I I've bounced uh I've bounced um, on a pothole, with about the same ferocity. <laughs> Let me tell you, it hurts your ass. So <laughs> I would not want to be him right now. This suspension is even harder than mine. His uh, spleen is uh -huh. probably in his oh. throat right now. Is he's about to spin, but keeps it tight. Doesn't give Neon Tiger enough space to overtake. As we see another attempt of an overtake into the hairpin turn. Side by side should be easy inside line. Uh, Rotorix 2 doesn't pressure too much, he still has to pit. And that's a position gained. 
and 2-5 will be looking at Rotorex next. And if I was Rotorex, I'd be clenching my ass because we've seen what 2-5 can do. <laughs> from behind. Yep. As Cooper... I think... Yeah, Cooper pitted. We saw them, I think. Yeah, yeah he was the one who pirouetted into the <laughs> stall. Yeah, so basically this is... We have two races, uh, Rotorex 2, 2-5 and Neon Tiger, who, hasn't, who haven't pitted yet. And me and uh, GT Cooper that have pitted. So basically we have two races in one right here. Yay. It was sort of like Monaco, except Monaco was like 20 races in one. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody everywhere. I, that was a fun race. And I think 2-5 alone goes to Pets, probably trying for an undercut on uh, Rotrix 2. Jesus. <laughs> As, As I no throw my gear halfway <laughs> across the room. <laughs> Uh, uh, Kim tries a crossover on D-Jump, maybe enough space, maybe not, next is a right-hander, oh no, left-hander, then right-hander, <laughs> D-Jump will still have an inside line, not enough space for Kim to pull side-by-side side here, as there shouldn't be any drama in this turn, but D-Jump is too slow on the exit, still not enough space. It's gonna be a battle of who makes the fewest mistakes, really, because they're both screwed up left, right, and center. So whoever gets their head together first is going to be the one that comes out on top. The the f initial complex is the Mercedes complex. I don't remember the name. Uh, one of the manufacturers. I think, no, the Mercedes complex I think is the last sector of Hockenheim. One of the manufacturers. I <laughs> know that much. It's BMW. Uh, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, this entire complex, if you drive defensively, you screw yourself over because of the whole nature of it. Mm -hmm. The weird, weird turns. As uh, Cooper makes his way past Rotrex, and here's a race. <laughs> yeah. And so now Kim Micah is on the back of DJ. That momentary hesitation is because I had to figure out who he was on the back of. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, well, nothing really interesting going on here. They're going to, yes, they're both going to pit. DJ uh, doing something that would get you a penalty normally, but, you know, this game and everything. And I think um, Neon Tiger behind them also went for pits mm -hmm. and I think it's lap 11 so it should be the end of a pit window really see, see that big BMW sign there yeah yeah so BMW uh, maybe I don't know <laughs> yes because the Mercedes complex would have a huge BMW sticker over it anyway the complex um, is further away either way we have side by side uh, Cooper has more speed but I have the inside line in this turn that can only end well yeah he Robert has the speed and the skill, the you have the line, and the jumping ability, as you keep the position. P9. <laughs> Yay! Yay! It might, it might increase later because people are still pitting, pitting in, pitting out, and I think the time and screen is a little bit behind. Well, with the Rule 34, something else is going to increase. Anyway, looking up at the lead, it looks like uh, Ponchik... Uh, Actually, I Cooper think... goes side by side and goes for the inside line. He will have the inside line in the uh, hairpin, so he should be able to pull that overtake, and he closes the cross. gap. There is yep. a crossover. He shouldn't have gone outside, but no, not enough space, really. And I yeah, think that's a complete overtake. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on, really. It, it looked weird the story for that of this camera. commentary. Uh, as your lights are still on, very V8 style, I keep referencing them a lot, but I'm seeing a lot of the parallels as, uh, as 25, well, uh, uh, that was a little bit iffy. Well, Neon could He scared have, himself. He really yeah. scared himself. Neon could have held the line. I don't think it would have ended in contact as we see Cone Dodger pulling out of the pits. Is someone going to come flying up his left? Disregarding the white line completely. Nothing new. I well, think that, you know. that, that was the point that the pro sim racer Cone Dodger just... Besides that white line is not for him anymore. Shame on you, Cone. Shame on you. Well, hey, worse things could happen. You could be in Formula Sim Racing and, well, if your name isn't Bono Huis, then you're never going to win anything. True. Oops. As Shadow Wolf gets a punt from behind from Rebel Cowboy, which actually gives him enough boost to complete this turn, so he was too slow, really. Exactly. Uh, well, we you see... know, he spent a lot of time giving it. Taking it every once in a while is a good thing. As Sharky, are we going to see the same thing disregarding the whites? Or is this going to be something different? No, he's staying within the white lines. Probably clean he's going to overshoot? Spin? A little bit too wide, but mostly clean. 
It's probably just the pit the out. point of that, then? I guess he just pitted or something. Uh, we see a replay from Gemini. <laughs> he really ran out of shit to show. <laughs> oh, probably. As, uh, Gemini is actually in a fight with Mac 1 and G-Man, so that's racing off the pit lane. <laughs> He's behind Mac 1. Uh, he could've nothing happens yet. Yeah, he could have taken the risk and tried to keep the position, but playing it smart, not taking, well, too many risks. Coming out of the pit lane is uh, Kim Micah ends up behind the scoops. So things are starting to settle down a little bit as far as order goes. Everyone's completing their pit stops. As the scoops, is he going to get re overtaken? That made no sense. <laughs> is he going to be overtaken? Kim actually. Mm, oversteer. Yeah, oversteer. A bit oversteer. But he has the inside line, so maybe there is a crossover Bruin. So this yep. game goes wide again. And yep. yeah, that's a crossover, and uh, the pass will be complete even before the hairpin, so it's clean and nice. As we see Neon Tiger completing his pit stop as well, going a bit wider, and Shadow Wolf is right here to challenge him for a position, or maybe not for a position. Neon Tiger really squeezed him wide, but he was right to do so, so mm -hmm. nothing major. Didn't even really squeeze him, just kind of took more of a racing line so we can make the next corner. True. As Gem Knight is racing Mac 1 Fireman, uh, regaining one of his positions, and we switch to Rebel Cowboy, who's still in fight with Shadow Wolf. Has Master not come in? Oh! Another bond. And Has Master not come in yet? I th I don't think so. Because he's retained the lead, and Cone and Shark Air are down in third. And here's and Cone, so probably he just bit it, and again, the timing board is lagging behind, and Cone is attempting an overtake. Maestro is a little bit wide, but he should have the speed for the next inside line. Cone is slotting behind, probably a wise thing to do because he was on the outside. Otherwise, uh, no drama yet. Yeah, no, definitely not. A little bit of oversteer there onto an entry from, uh, from what's his face? Cone. Wow, blank there for yeah. a second, sorry. And there's uh, an orange car. I think Shark is ahead of those two after. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maestro pitted and Squid pitted. Rebel Cowboy tries to pass Shadow Wolf again, and as we can see, I think Shadow Wolf is a lap down on all of them, so I have no idea what's his well, business look, racing. Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. And looking at the timing screen, it looks like this is lap 12, but the timing screen's on lap 10. So uh, that lap, would explain the issues. Lap, yeah, lap 12, lap 13 now is a lap of a leader, so I'm probably half a lap down, but still. Yeah, it's you're not, lagging you're not behind. Through that <laughs> yeah, lagging behind a bit. Sorry <clears> about <throat> that, but I had so many troubles with this editing. I don't care anymore. Anyway, lap 13 started, and Cone Dodger really wants this pass done. Turn one. Not yet. Master holds his line. Nice defense from him. Going outside. There's going to be one or two places that Shadow can get that. Wow, Shadow. That um, Cone Dodger can get this done. Turn That's one there. Not we one just, of those. <laughs> yeah, we, we we just saw it. Turn one, not going to work. The next one is going to be the um, three turn complex, the right, left, right, or left, right, left. I don't remember which sequence it is. Uh, that one you can get a decent crossover if you're smart about it. Gem Knight here. I don't know yeah, where the hell he is because I'm just ignoring the timing screen now. Uh, okay. I, th I think it settled down, so it's probably for P8 right here, despite it mm -hmm. being two laps uh, down in real time. But everybody completed their pit stop, so it should be. Relevant as that's fight for P8. Uh, Gemini has to pull the move around the outside as Gemini is wobbly, not overshooting. Yeah, Gemini had a bit of a lock there, you could see him release his brakes. Smart because he would have just pounded him if he didn't. So, Gemini takes, takes his position inside line. Nice move, very clean, and he got his P8. Yeah, oh, no. minus, some, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> minus some of the. Um, uh, ass pounding by Rebel Cowboy. It's been uh, a pretty calm race, all all things said. Let's disregard turn one. <laughs> well, yeah, turn one. Uh, okay, let, let's say this. It's not an incident a lap like some of the other tracks. Yeah, but let's say uh, this turn one was the most brutal in the entire season because we had uh, Magione, which was a slow start, like, then Velalunga, which yeah. was a long as straight. And then uh, Imola, which well, was the uh, fast chicane. Otherwise known as Nürburgring Part 1. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I mean, 
Okay, wow. <laughs> the track just this, you know, the way the track is there, they saw the orange car in the background. I'm like, what the, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? As we see Cone all over the Russian's ass. Uh, he's still looking for a way by. Uh, chance of victory is pretty much gone, unless Sharky really bones it. He's pretty much guaranteed P1. Uh, Cone looks faster in this stint than he did in the previous one. Amasho is a very heads-up driver. He's not just going to let him by without a fight. Uh, this uh, That sequence of corners right before then, ending in that hairpin is the other place I think he could do some overtaking. Really nothing you can do here but single file, uh, unless you get a draft, but you require speed differential. These cars just don't produce. Yeah, if it's not those two places, it's waiting for a mistake, and Maestro is clearly not making one yet. Yeah, Maestro is... I see a lot of me in him. Just get into a rhythm, and you can just keep banging him out. Uh, break that rhythm, however, and things can get interesting. So that's the replay from uh, GG Cooper approach. Way too me. fast. Way too fast. Way too fast. And does a smart thing, actually. Avoids yep. the wall. Better lose a position than end up in a wall with a broken car. Nice, he saw the... Um, and he see Maestro speed and completely disregarded the white line. Well, you know, I actually think that that was slower. Probably. As that looked slower. Goes Oops. very slow, and Cone had a chance of crossover, but yeah, Master is basically parked his car across the circuit right there, mm -hmm. not allowing the. Um, that pit out is questionable, Master. Very. It, it was a questionable technique, but at the end of the day, I think that doing that actually was it, slower yeah, than just him. accelerating in a straight line. As we see, uh, trademarked Savatis self spin again as Neon Tiger. Gets really, really sideways on grass again, probably going for a pit stop, no. He goes on track and blocks in cars run. uh That was bad, but he got nowhere to go, really. Yeah, nothing he could have really done there. It just stick to the inside as far as you can. And then Carson had already committed to the corner. Not horrible, not like we saw with um, uh, that one crash a while ago in turn one. These two are still going at it. <laughs> yeah, I don't as know which one it was. Yeah, I forget. Uh, nothing else really interesting going on as far as I can see on the timing screen. Uh, what was that? I don't know. That car that was pointed sideways. Oh, there, there. you go. That's, like, what is... that's less cubes. He okay. is a lap down on those. Parked in the gravel right there. Probably missed his breaking point. As Condor goes for an overtake, maybe inside line a little bit sideways. He yep. kind of got it here, but he will be outside for the next turn, so Master will have an advantage. Go can try to go around the outside or cross over. No, not quite enough space. But he does have a run. Will he be able to capitalize on that? Keep his head about him. In this next series of corners, he could get a crossover prepared. Let's see no, what he does. Not yet. A bit too wide. Oh, a bit sideways. No. He has pro a few turns left as we are on the last lap of a race. He's gonna have to dive here. He doesn't have enough space. To... Nope. Just waiting for Maestro's mistake in the last turns, or him slowing down cautiously. Or a little push. We see last lap and uh, GT Cooper after his mistake is trying an overtake once again. Goes for the inside line, a Ooh. little bit wobbly. Tries keeps like the do. car, dives Ooh. for the inside. Oh, that Blink. was a wobble. That was a wobble from GT, and he stays on the track, but I don't think he's going to attempt an overtake. Best case scenario the there, uh, he wasn't going to, that wasn't ever going to stick. Uh, the only way or place he was going to go was, well, into your side or into your ass. Um, and I know which I would prefer, but, you know, I'm weird. So, and while the race is going for the rest of them, Sharke is crossing the... <laughs> Lap and shuttle for the second time this race and claiming his victory in Nürburgring as Cone Dodger still stays behind Maestro, finishing second and third, and that yellow car in the background is Spooky Squid finishing fourth. Savatis so claims fifth. I am sixth, followed by GT Cooper and a couple of guys still trying to fight a 2 5 and D jump uh, after the hairpin. Still Whoa. trying to decide who is better. 2-5 goes for a nice inside move. Will he be able to keep it inside? He does. Dijon runs quite wide, but he's still ahead. There might be a crossover here. 
Mm -hmm. jump would have never kept that position if he didn't no, swing it off the I... track, but well, he swung it off the track a little too much there. Still stays uh, two five avoids, but stays mm -hmm. ahead. And since Djum doesn't have, I could see this speed, ending in a massive crash in the hair or in the chicane. If Djum throws it, but he's, I think he's too far behind. He should be able it's to never stop me before. His loss looks calm, looks clean, and two five gets his position. Oh. <laughs> As I thought that guy was going to the wall. Bouncing. I said he's gonna find the wall. <laughs> uh, Sebi's trying to make a move on D-Jump after his mistake. D-Jump is slow. Sebi's trying behind. And here we see Sebi yep, try, but it. not quite close enough. Yep, as uh, D-Jump finishes ahead of Sebi. And this race winner is, once again, what a surprise, Sharkey. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so Sharkey won. Every single race this entire season as his car disappears for some reason. There you go. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody, don't mind the mechanic that just added some extra weight to the car. <laughs> <laughs> Refuel. <laughs> anyway, and here, here are the final results. Sharky from Master Punchy, from Condoger, from Spooky Squid, from Servatis, from, and then a huge 20 second, 22 second gap, from me, from GT Cooper, from Gem Knight, from G-Man, from Mac one Fireman. Kim Micah makes up 11.25 behind him. D-Jump, Sebi, Rotor X2, Rebel Cowboy, S&M, Neon Tiger, Incarcerant, Mars and Torn, when that, wow, let's go. <laughs> and I'm going to try to figure out English. And, oh my god, you did that just to be an asshole, didn't you? No, because he was 21st, and my table is for 10 people per page. And Shadow Wolf. One left behind in 21st. <laughs> We're horrible people. Oh, oh yes, my... we are. And that uh, race ran out our, our first season, which was one surprise, surprise by Sharkey. Uh, Comment Dodger finished second, Spooky Squid third, Servatis got Tricky of the Year with 100 points. Master Project just three points behind. Goose is claimed six, Gem Knight, 2 5, G3 Cooper, and 10th in the standings is me. And thanks so much for watching, and we will see you guys next season. Goodbye. Unfortunately for you. Bye. Wait, shit, we still have 20 seconds. No, we don't.